evening, Scotland has banned visitors from South Africa over concerns about another new strain of coronavirus. Two cases of the new variant have been discovered in England, but the Scottish Government says it's acting now as a precaution. Scots returning home from the African country will now be required to self-isolate for 10 days along with their families. Well, meanwhile, one of the UK's leading public health experts says it's likely another new and highly infectious variant of COVID-19, which was discovered in South East England last week, could become the dominant strain across the country. New statistics out today show that a baby girl was one of those who died with COVID within the last week. Professor Linda Ball says we're in a worrying time, as Laura Alderman reports. On the cusp of Christmas, it's meant to be the most wonderful time of the year, but for some, it's the most worrying. She's very caught up and repeatedly a mask on and repeatedly work where the outside is going. Shoppers have been hitting the high streets for the last of their Christmas shopping and heading into cafes and restaurants with less than 24 hours until they close for the foreseeable future. Most of the country goes into tight tier 4 restrictions on Boxing Day, meaning the Christmas rush isn't just for gifts this year, Louise Scott reports. It's the closest Scotland's busiest shopping street to look to normal December day. Two days before Christmas and with the impending lockdown, the crowds were out in force. Mostly got like everything online, so we're quite organised, but we're just getting like last minute time. I'm very organised this year, normally I'm a Christmas Eve shopper, uh, so I'm happy with that. Okay, that's good, we don't know exactly when retail and hospitality will be able to reopen next year, and equally, which businesses will survive another lockdown. Will we stop the SCB news? Lorries are crossing the UK border into Europe again, but there's a warning it'll take at least a couple of days to ease the backlog. Drivers are now being tested before entering France, but thousands of trucks have sat waiting for days on the motorway near Dover. Many Scottish firms have already lost thousands of pounds. Stephen Brown has more. After days of waiting, finally the border has reopened. Drivers will be tested before they head to France, but for many it's too late for the produce they're carrying. I've got Fred Lamont now, the still just in the morning, and she's a two of us. A very good evening to your cold night ahead of us. A very cold day to come tomorrow. Temperatures are barely above freezing in quite a few spots. And another cold night to come tomorrow night for Santa. So warming up for Christmas Day. For the time being, though, tonight dry, clear, cold. Those temperatures down to about minus two or minus three degrees inland. See a few scattered rain showers across the Hebrides and some sleet and snow showers possible into the highlands and northern parts of the Gale. Most of those showers ease away. And that's all we've got time for this evening from all the team. Have a very good night.